For my sports manager interview, I interviewed David Joseph, a sports agent and lawyer in Greensboro, North Carolina. First things first, let me tell you a little bit of background about Mr. Joseph. Uh, he grew up in Greensboro. His father was a big NC State fan, so he grew up around NC State. His father has always been involved in the uh, NC State Wolfpack Club, um, and he still is today. And he's good friends with Bobby Purcell, um, the current head of the Wolfpack Club. Um, Mr. Joseph went to law school at Wake Forest, um, where he graduated and became a lawyer in Washington, D.C. Um, and he was about to get made partner at a big law firm in D.C. before his father called him and offered him a job as a sports agent and said, it's now or never, let's do this. So he quit his job in D.C., moved back to Greensboro, and um, became a sports agent. Um, one of the biggest things we talked about was the difficulties um, that come with being a sports agent. Um, he said probably the biggest thing is making connections and breaking into the field. Um, he said his father helped him a little bit with connections and stuff, but not a whole lot. Um, you know, he had met some people through being around NC State um, his whole life. So that was one of the biggest things that helped him break into the field. Um, another one, one story he told me was um, about his biggest agent, which was Terrell Owens, who was a former wide receiver in the NFL. Um, one of the former NC State coaches, um, Buddy Green, I think was his name, was a coach at uh, Tennessee Chattanooga where Terrell Owens went to college. And he called David or Mr. Joseph, and he called him and um, said, you need to come check out this guy. And uh, Terrell Owens was a junior at the time in college. And he went down there and got to know, they call him T.O., got to know T.O. Um, pretty well and ended up signing with him on New Year's Eve. I'm not sure what year, but um, T.O. actually had signed with another agent and called Mr. Joseph um, on New Year's Eve and said that he needed him to come out to Tennessee and look at this contract that he had with his other agent and wanted to make sure everything was okay. Ended up telling him that the contract was like, wasn't what he needed. And he ended up firing that agent and hiring Mr. Joseph, which was pretty cool. Um, another thing we talked about were the traits that you needed to um, break into this field or what you need to have if you want to become a sports agent. Um, you need to kind of have an edge to yourself. He didn't say it, not necessarily stubbornness, but um, you kind of need to just like not be pushed around really easily. Um, you need to be persistent and you need to be well informed is one of the biggest things he said. He was a lawyer, so he said that helped a lot, um, knowing all the lingo and whatnot. And you need to know, he said you need to know all the CBAs, the collective bargaining agreements for each league, regardless of what league you're in. Um, and he told me a funny story about um, when T.O. played for the 49ers and they needed to renegotiate his contract, <clears throat> um, he uh, was sitting down with Bill Walsh and the owner, um, I can't remember who it was, but um, he ended up, long story, he basically ended up just walking out on um, Mr. Walsh because uh, they couldn't get anywhere with their negotiations on his uh, contract. So I was like, that kind of, that kind of took some some guts to walk out on a legendary coach like that. Um, one of the fun things he said that um, are come with being a sports agent, it's fun to make deals and connections, you know, like meet people. Um, and it's kind of, he said it was kind of like a sport for him to make a good um, deal that would satisfy both uh, parties. Um, and the advice, the last thing we talked about were, was advice for people trying to make it in this field. He said, of course, to make good grades. Um, he said to become a lawyer if you could, that helped him a lot. Um, and to start somewhere low if you have to, you know, build your way up. Um, you know, everyone has to start somewhere. And, I, yeah, I understand that. It, it's like any job you have, you have to start somewhere low, do the dirty work, and then you build your way up, make connections, meet people, and that's how you get to where you want to be. So that's my takeaways from my interview with Mr. David Joseph.